Hi everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net, just continuing along with our uh, introduction now in the GitHub project here under the quantlabs uh, repository, algo trading signal with email. Uh, got a video showing you how to parse to in the tokens from the signal data. Now I'm going to show you what to do with it. So first things first is in order to save a lot of confusion, what I strongly, strongly recommend, because I'm not going to be able to sit here and uh, re respond to everybody's queries on GitHub regarding how to set this all up. These are just videos examples, so that's why I'm doing them. Um, so if you are interested in learning how to do this, as I've said, under my academy stuff at quantlabs.net, I've got this course called OANDA API Forex Workshop. This goes into a full detail of over an hour plus video explaining how to get OANDA working with the work with uh, API, the API for uh, OANDA. And that works in conjunction with this other course I've got Python uh, version 3 algo trading course infrastructure building blocks. Okay. So if you're interested, just come under the store here. It'll take you to one or two links. Uh, for the Forex OAN API, you will need to get an elite membership. If you want that, just want the Python, then there's a link for that as well. So let's get in the source code of what I provided. First of all, um, the reason I made the OAN Forex API workshop was because it's tricky to navigate through in the world of how OAN works. Here under the GitHub of a window uh, version 20 or version 2, I guess, Python samples, you'll see here a pretty good um, expl explanation of how everything works with the token, with the um, account IDs. Uh, I don't go into details here over that, but in the, the workshop I do. Um, and there's some example code on how to set all that up. But what I'm going to focus on entirely is market order. So again, you will need to set up a paper trading account with the host name. You need to get the port, the token ID, and the account ID of the um, OAN account you want to uh, work with. And you can have a paper trading account as well. All right, so here's the source code. So in here, um, I've got one market order file or market orders Python script that you can download from GitHub. Um, if not, this is the gist of what you need. Here are all the packages you need for Python. Top of that, we need to set up our authorization uh, to get our token and account ID. Here's the order confirmation information that you would need to pass along in the API call for the order. So here we have our order, number of units, and I've talked about that before, just as an example in the previous token video. I set it at one, but you can set it to whatever you want based upon your risk profile. Uh, instrument, I pro also provide Euro, USD, any of the signals that I provide through the analytics service. You can just pass the appropriate one in here. Uh, everything else is default. Um, I use time and force, uh, fill or kill, type is market, and position fill is the default. And that's pretty well how the... Um, Order confirmation settings are. Then we have our access to our uh, token to set it all up. Now in this case, what we're doing here in this loop is that we have an order confirmation uh, array essentially. But in the example I'll show you, I'm just putting one order in. But if you wanted to put in a variety of orders, you can do that too uh, using this array format. So once we do that, we provide um, or actually make the call to the order create with our account ID and the data of uh, zero or O or order. And that is going through that loop and iterating through the loop of the data of the array of order conf uh, configuration, confirmation, whatever you want to call it. And I'll cycle through each order. And as I said, I'll show you the source code. I only have one order. Okay, I'll show you that how to integrate that with the previous set of scripts. I'm just showing you this individually, how to do it with OANDA itself. So once we get that, uh, the order create has been sent out. Then we get the return data. Here it is. We can print that out. 
I show that in full uh, regalia uh, in the um, API course. So here we um, want to make sure that the order was successful. If not, it will log out any of the um, uh, any of the exceptions that come for, back from the order ID. Okay, so we've created all that, the basics of it, and now we got to work with what we've already work up into this point after three prior videos on how to integrate everything. Now this is not the cleanest way of doing it. We've created this file called GitHub uh, sample read Yahoo with parsing and ordering. So those are the last two steps. Parsing, which I've shown, and then the order. Okay, so everything's the same. Uh, what we gotta do here is I gotta clean up this still. But here here's what we got. We've got our email uh, that we're checking. Um, if there is an email in there by doing this condition, uh, we know we have, and I've talked about this, I believe, in the second or first video, or one of the two. We get a new message. This is the body of the message or the email. And then, as I showed in the previous video, we can tokenize it using all this fun stuff. And then, because we can tokenize it, convert it into the proper floats uh, here, actually right here, uh, for what we need. So we're talking the symbol, the quantity, the close if you want, the take profit, the stop loss. You can provide all that. Um, but now we get into what we're going to do with the Orlando order. So continuing along right here, uh, we're going to set up an order. So again, no different than what I showed in the previous Python script is the API token. We have our order confirmation, but one thing I want to note here, as I said, I'm only putting one order in here, but I've left all the examples. If you wanted to add in a second, third order, you can do that in this array. But in here, we can feed in the symbol that we've gotten from the email, as well as the quantity, and just do a basic market order. And we do that by going through the order confirmation or configuration array, pull out each one with the big O, and then uh, once we are able to extract all that, because we've already got the um, data set up uh, with the units, instrument, time, force, type, and position fill, we can pass that along as a data object, or data O as an order, I assume, and as well as account ID, and as I said, um, we print out some statements here. Here's the return statement from here. And if there's any exceptions, boom, boom, boom. Uh, we print out successful here or whatever exception comes back. And that's all we're doing is essentially we're going through uh, a given email, um, as I've shown in the um, Yahoo, which is easiest, and then go from there. All right, so that's pretty well it. I hope that this helps you out. Um, as I said, I'm not going to be able to respond to each and every person. I'm not here to maintain it. I'm just here to give you an overview of how to build your own connector using OANDA with the signaling capabilities. And if you want to hook it up with mine, this is a great example on how to do it um, and get you up and running. Okay, so other than that, we shall talk to you later. You have yourself a good day. Later.